Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more easy problem from lead code. The problem name is find closest number to zero. Okay, let us move down to the prompt statement. It says that you're given an integer array nums of size n, as you can see here in the input. Return the number in which the value closest to zero in nums is present. Among all of these values, find out the value which is closest to zero. Okay, if there are multiple values, return the number with the largest value. So you can just assume that closest means that the absolute difference between zero and that value should be the lowest as possible. If there are two values with the same lowest value, then return the one that is the larger one. So it's pretty much simple then for every value, find out the one that is much closest to zero. If you are able to find out a closer one, then update that. If you are finding out a value that has already been found out before, so you just have to find out the one that is the larger one. You can actually just do it in O of n, get it over all of these values and just find out the one that is closest to zero. So nothing much complicated here itself as well. Let's move down to the code part now. So what we have done here is that we will iterate over all these values one by one from left to right and check out the absolute difference between this value and zero, which will eventually give me the closest one to zero. So what we are doing is that we are doing a for loop and finding out the absolute difference between the nums of i and zero. And if that value is lesser than closest, closest means that whatever is the value which I have seen the closest to zero up till now. Okay, from left to right we are moving and up till now what is the closest? So I have initialized closest as a very large number because the constraints are that it is up to 10 to power 5. So I have initialized it 10 to power 9. So which is a very large number and the absolute value will always be a portion number that is why I have initialized it a very large number, portion number. Now we will see that if this value is less which means that I have found out a much closer number to zero. I will update that number and change that. I have found out a new number. So update that with the closest value. And we will like in the end return this value. So I find out a much closest value and that is this value. If I find out that a value that we have found out is exactly the same as the closest. Then I have to find out the one which is maximum among the ones which I've already find out. So I find it out, let's say a value that is already very close. So let's say the values can be minus one and one. This has one, but can let's say it has minus one as well. If it has minus one and one both, then which one I should choose? I will choose one. I should not choose minus one. Both of them are very close, but uh, like closest uh, distance between zero and minus one and one is one only. But uh, I will choose the one that is the larger one. So if I, I generally first find out the closest one and when I find out the two closest one, I will choose the one that is the maximum one and then return the value. So I'm just doing that is actually asked in the prompt statement, nothing much I have to do. And uh, we just have to initialize these values accordingly, depending upon the constraints and the end we can just return that. So that's the complete logic. You can pause on this video at this particular point, look at the code as well if you have any doubts and you can mention on the coin box also if you have any doubts. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Leave coding and bye.